Go get that nasty, smelly helmet because it's time to finally clean that thing. We're cleaning everything. Outer shell, face shield, pinlock insert, inner lining, strap, and inner foam. Let's touch quickly on the things we want to avoid. To do that, we need to understand what the helmet is made of and see if those substances are compatible with any cleaning chemicals we're about to use. For example, most face shields are made of polycarbonate because of its shatterproof characteristic. So if polycarbonate dissolves in the presence of ammonia or acetone, it doesn't take a chemist to realize you shouldn't combine those. I told you that to tell you this. Next time your helmet is full of bugs and you reach for that blue glass cleaner, I'm going to be there to slap it out of your hand like Terry Tate. That stuff contains ammonia. You know, one of the chemicals that can dissolve your face shield? I'm sure plenty of you have used this stuff and gotten away with it, but each time you use it, it's gonna eat a little more. When it comes to things like my helmet or athletic cup, I say better safe than sorry and avoid chemicals altogether and just use hot water. For the outer shell, set a hot towel on any problem spots and use a little elbow grease to finish them off. When you're done, just buff clean with a cloth. For face shields and pinlock inserts, you can go with a little dish soap, rinse, wipe clean, let dry, and buff if you need it. I don't have any anti-fog coating on my shield, so I don't have to worry about reapplying anything. For the inner lining, I filled up the kitchen sink and added a mild detergent like Woolite. When these pads go back into your helmet, they're going to be pressing against your face or your bald head for long periods of time, so avoid anything that might anger your skin if you don't get it all rinsed out. And you can use anything watertight to dunk your helmet lining sink, bucket, bowl, toilet, whatever. I wash my hockey gear the same way, but I fill up the bathtub and it's pretty nasty how cloudy the water gets. Most liners are okay to go into the washing machine in one of those mesh bags, but I like to think that I'm gonna be a little more careful in a washing machine. If you feel like your water's getting a little murky, you can just remove the small frisbee you're using as a drain plug and refill. When you feel like you've rinsed out all the detergent, squeeze the excess water out and let things air dry before you put them back in your helmet. Make sure you don't wring the padding out because that could damage the foam inside. To clean the chin strap, just use the same mild detergent and rinse well. The last piece of the puzzle is the hard foam inside the helmet. This is another step where you want to use caution and avoid scratching, compressing, or dissolving anything. For this, I use the same thing that I hit my hockey pads with. It's a mixture of half hydrogen peroxide and half water. Once everything's dry, reassemble and you're done. That's it. You did it. Once again, I'm the Moto Dutchman. If this happens to be the first video of mine that you've seen, take a gander at my other content that focuses on my Ducati 1299 Panigale. Until next time, remember, always, no, never wash your helmet with acetone. That being said, also feel free to tell me my personal taste in liquor is wrong and why you believe anything other than single malt cask strength scotch is swill. Who knows, maybe you think I should be drinking gin. Anyway, yesterday a package was delivered to my neighbor. Shortly thereafter, it was correctly placed in front of my doorstep. That package contained two packs of Norlin whiskey glass.